Hi guys, in this video I'll continue solving the following question here. Um, now, so far we've taken this system, we've drawn a free body diagram of the overall uh, system. Uh, two free body diagrams, one for block A and one for block B. Um, we've also uh, then created the equilibrium of forces for block A. And from this equilibrium of forces we've got in this equation here. So uh, T equal to 500 sine theta uh, minus 75 times cosine theta here. Uh, we've also done a free body diagram for uh, block number B. And we've also, from that, come to a equation for T as well. And T equal to 400 cosine theta minus 1000 sine theta. Now in this next part, what we'll do is we'll equate equation 5 and equation 10 to each other. This will give us a way to calculate theta, and then by calculating theta, we'll then be able to calculate t. So let's go. So I'm just going to write down equation number 5. So equation 5 was t equal to 500 times sine theta minus 75 cosine theta. So now what we can do is we can equate equation number 5 and equation number 10. Okay, next thing is we'll group everything that has a cosine to one side and everything with a sine to the other side. Okay, uh, we'll factorize cosine theta and sine theta. Um, or you can treat it this way. So 400 plus 75 cosine theta is 475 cosine theta. And then this is equal to 600, sorry, 500 plus 1000 is what should be written here. So this will be 1500 sine theta. Okay, so we can rewrite this as sine theta divided by cosine theta equal to 475 divided by 1500. Sine theta over cosine theta is the same as writing tan theta. So tan theta is equal to uh, 475 divided by 1,500. So now we can calculate the angle theta just by using uh, inverse tan. So here we get 475 divided by 1,500 and inverse tan of that number. Alright, so now that we've calculated the angle theta, we could substitute this angle back into the equation for t. Um, we can check, uh, select either equation 5 or equation 10. Um, I will select equation number 10. So t equal to 400 times cosine uh, theta, which is 17.57, minus 1000 times sine 17.57. All right, so we can place that into a calculator. So that's 400 times cosine 17.57 minus 1000 times sine 17.57. And we get 79. Uh, 0.46. Let's round this to 79.5 uh, newtons. Alright, so 
Um, this gives us an answer to the tension which is in the rope. So the tension within the rope will be 79.5 newtons and the angle that um, where both blocks will begin to slip will be 17.57 degrees. Alright, so hopefully that's been helpful for you um, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.